Hi lovelies, welcome back to Gloria Home of Skills. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to make Texapon. This is a foaming bookstore. I have shared it before, but I want to share the opposite of the production that I made before. So, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Once you have given this video a thumbs up, you have shared it automatically. Please give my video a thumbs up and stay tuned and keep watching. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to Okay, this is my measuring scale, so I'm going to on it right now and I'll begin to measure all my chemicals. So, first chemical I'm going to measure is SLS rice. So, there are different types of SLS the one that has a powdered form, and this is the long one, this is the SLS rice. That's what I'm using. So, I'll be using 50 grams of SLS rice. So after that, I'll measure the next chemicals. I'll be using the same measurement to make it, but um, everything will be opposite and the water is not going to be the same. So just stay tuned and keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell notification to stay updated when next I upload a new video. Please like and share this video. Even if you don't want to share, please like this video. It will be shared automatically without stress. Thank you. So in my previous video, I used 250 mils of water, but I'll be using 300 mils on this one. So I'm going to be using um, part of the water to dissolve this chemical called SLS. So um, last time I I boiled the water to dissolve this chemical SLS, but I'm not going to boil any water. As you can see, it is cold water. So the other water, I'll be boiling it for the next chemical. So stay tuned. So I just set the SLS aside so I'm going to boil this remaining water to dissolve the next chemical so um, in the previous video that I made I didn't boil it I just used cold water but the best way of dissolving this chemical you have to boil it for it to dissolve immediately so there is no wasting of time and uh, the same thing with SLS do not overstay it so that you won't have excess foam to do uh, to deal with so that's why i didn't stir it too much i just stir it a little and i set it aside so once in a while just bring it and just stir it a little and leave it it's going to dissolve by its own as soon as we've added a lot of water it's going to dissolve just keep watching As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine So right now I'll be measuring the next chemical called sodium sulfate So this is an industrial salt So it's used for thickener in your production So that's what I want to measure right now be using 25 gram of 
sodium sulfate remember i told you that it's the same measurement but the difference there is the water and the, uh, uh, the production is opposite so just watch and see how i made it there are different ways of making texapon this is homemade texapon that is what i'm doing so i'll be using it to make a liquid soap in my next video so please subscribe and also press the bell notification to stay updated and don't forget to like this video okay stay updated so that whenever i upload this video you will see how i use this homemade texapon to make my liquid soap so I'm going to set it aside and I'll bring out the water, it has already boiled, I'll bring out the water to use it to dissolve this chemical. All these chemicals, when you dissolve it in a big quantity, you'll find out that it's very difficult to dissolve. So the best way I dissolve it is to pour it it's hot water. Can you imagine? It's dissolving immediately. So that is why I boiled the water to dissolve it. The SLS rice is still there dissolving. Why this has dissolved immediately with the twinkle of an eye? As you can see, that's why I want to show you guys this method. So the last one, the last time it, it took time to dissolve. So that's why I use hot water on this uh, sodium sulfate. So I'm going to set it aside for it to cool down and I'm going to use it later. So this is the SLS rice, as you can see it has already dissolved, so I'm going to wait for all these ones to dissolve properly or I will use my spoon to, uh, to stir it. But the reason why I don't want to stir it too much is because of the foam, because this SLS is a foaming agent, so I don't want to deal with SS foaming, that's why I left it. As you can see it, it has dissolved, so we are going to start our production right now. So it is time to mix all this together. The one by my left hand with purple rubber is sodium sulfate while the one in the black rubber is SLS rice. So when you pour it and the more you stir it, the more it thickens. So pour it at once or you can pour it bit by bit. So remember I told you guys that the water I used is 300 ml but the previous one I used 250 ml so you can see the difference so like i said the more you stir it the more it taking so i've stirred it for a very long time so that's why the color is like this so this is as a result of the fo fo foaming this is the bubbles that's what makes it this color so i'm going to leave it for a while i'll just stay it and leave it for a while like um 24 hours for it to um, be transparent so that is the next stage So after 24 hours, this is the face of our Tenzapon. This is how transparent it is and very, very thick. So 
Achieve this thickness with 300 ml of water, 50 gram of uh, SLS rice and 25 gram of sodium sulfate. So with these three materials that I just mentioned now, you can make your own texapone at home. This is homemade texapone. It's not an industrial texapone. So you can use it to make your liquid soap, your shampoo and detergent etc. So this is a foaming agent. It serves as a foaming agent. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This video and also press the bell notification to stay updated when next I upload a new video. So guys, please, if you have questions, you can ask in the comment section and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!